coming to you live at the, the pigskin, pig Coach Kiki. Coach Kiki, Coach Beckett, Exploratory Learning Day. All right, stop number two, the North End. Beck and this is was not here with me. They're talking about Lived here. So, this is new. This is fun. Margaritas. Let's go. Cheers. I'm like already halfway done with <laughs> I know, when I saw the glasses, I was like... Okay, question number one was, do you speak another language? No. <laughs> I just do a Spanish lesson every day, and no, I still uh, don't speak another no language. English. No hablen. Well, you do speak English. No, no, speak no, no, no. Hola. <laughs> we speak another language. One word. Hola. <laughs> Question two. Someone said, can we be besties? Yes. Me and Beckin. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but yes, if you're a female, we'll be your friend. Yeah. Do you have any cute friends for me? These are anonymous questions. I don't know who this is coming from. If it's a male, <laughs> if it's a female. Um, Do we have oh no, cute, cute single friends. Bitch, oh. I am single. <laughs> oh, we totally do. Trey. Yeah. Yeah. Our we have Trey. Trey. <laughs> if you are female. That's asking. It. That's it. That question. That's all we have. <laughs> Do you have a dog? I don't. I have two. Next question. So, you want children? It's probably supposed to say, do you want children? I'm saying, but, so, do you want children? Um, who would I have kids with? I have two children. Three. Brutus, yeah, three. <laughs> Brutus, Gemma, Beckin. Next question. Next question. Are you gonna create your own bodybuilding team? Maybe not bodybuilding, but a crew of badass women. There you go. Post Beckin, baby. Post Beckin. To be. Stay tuned. Yeah. When do you plan to step on stage next? June. Uh, early spring. Yes. <laughs> Almost go time. This is a question, a good question for Beckham. Do you recommend intermittent fasting? I recommend anabolic fasting. Anabolic fasting, Corey G Fitness, Beckin Bikini Fitness. Yes. And I know what it's about. Yeah. Ask us about anabolic fasting, not anime. Yeah, anabolic fasting is the way to go if yes. you want to get huge. <laughs> Will you guys share what happened with Team Boss Bodies and why you're no longer coaching for them? Just to clear the yeah. air. I never was coaching for them. I was just on a team, but no, we won't. Sorry. One of the other questions was, I gained so much weight six weeks post-show and have no idea why. My macros are so low so and cardio is so one hour. First of all, these are tipsy questions. Do you really want drunk advice on this? Yeah, so and you know, it's not really, that's not a question. No, I'm um, sorry. I'm sorry that that's happened to you. But. We are both coaches and can help you assist, yeah. assist you through that. Um, post show uh, is definitely difficult, so it always helps to have a guide uh, to make sure we're building up her food and getting that cardio down. That's why I drive her to her house from my house. Yeah. <laughs> if you could work out with anyone, who would it be? I get to work out with the only person I want to work out with every day. <laughs> uh, well, obviously it's back in. Um, and I've already trained with Corey, my other idol. So, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger would obviously be amazing. 
Um, not realistic though. I think something a little bit more realistic. Dana Lynn Bailey. Oh yeah. Dana Lynn Bailey, for sure. Yeah. What's the best type of cheese for you? Did y'all not know these questions are for Kiki and me? <laughs> I am a, I am a, the complete opposite of a cheese advocate. <laughs> yes. What's the best? I would say the best type of cheese. Okay, for me, I, I'm not a cheese person. It messes dairy, messes with my, my stomach, my face. Um, so anything low in lactose. Um, the lower lactose that's in amount of cheese, the less of the effects that you're going to get from it. So I would say either Parmesan or Ricotta. For me, it's Velveeta. Fake cheese. Yeah. <laughs> what would you be if you had to wear one Halloween costume every day for the rest of your life? Um, a bikini competitor? <laughs> I know, I was going to say workout Barbie. <laughs> That I like. Yeah. Um, a trophy wife. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I would say actually. <laughs> I would say like actual like a, if you're thinking like a Halloween costume. I was gonna say like a mermaid. <laughs> Ooh, uh, yeah, that would be like inconvenient. Yeah, That'd but you get like, to wear a cute bra. Patrick Stars. <laughs> um, what if you had to wear a mask? What type Who would of mask? Spider-Man? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> you got bikini competitor and trophy wife. <laughs> so basically, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not anybody's wife. <laughs> no. You look like you could look like one. You could look like a trophy wife. That's all I got. Like typical Halloween typical costume. Typical Halloween costume. Which? <laughs> I said Patrick Star. Patrick Star. A starfish. Mermaid Man a and Barnacle. Dumb starfish. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Yeah. That's us. I'm the fat one. <laughs> Favorite kind of client to coach? People that want to be coached. Yeah, I agree. Um, that actually want, want that to will, try. That will check Jeez. in, ask questions, uh, do as I say, and I will explain. I'm not like a do this and not explain. Someone who wants to talk to me, <laughs> give me all their information. Anybody who's gonna work hard. Yeah. Even if you're genetically blessed and you don't put in the effort, like I'd rather not work with you. Yeah. Anyone that puts in effort. The maximum effort. Yeah. Max, max effort. effort. <laughs> if you could be anyone in this world today, who would you meet? Trevor Wallace. <laughs> um obvious answer Arnold Schwarzenegger who else I mean if we're being honest I don't I feel have like any you will get to meet him someday <laughs> let's go what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten probably something when I was in Costa Rica in undergrad on a biology trip but i don't know what it like i don't know what it is i'm just assuming that is there was something weird that i probably would have eaten at that time i will eat anything like i i don't know what the weirdest thing i have eaten is i hope they can hear us so it's easy. yeah we should have brought our things i don't know that i don't know Hey, yeah. <laughs> What's which instrument has the funniest sound? Instrument? Yeah. <laughs> a uh, maybe like an oboe. I used to or play quarter. the saxophone. <laughs> My sister played the saxophone. Uh, I played the trumpet in the fifth grade, and that was it. 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, like maybe a harmonic. I a everything triangle. sounds good if you if you know how to play it. it. Everything <laughs> sounds terrible if I'm playing it. <laughs> Done. I like bagpipes. What music do you listen to? Can you hear the music? <laughs> Stacy's mom is playing. Yeah. Like 2010 rap and hip hop usually. Yeah. Or the owner of the gym, old old school gym, Dustin says my music is horny music. Meg the Stallion. Next question. All right. Longest time you've ever gone without showering? A back to the Costa Rica trip in um, in undergrad. I was there for three. I three. <laughs> I was there for three weeks. I showered when we were there, but we were in like these biology like field camps. So I don't know. I, a couple days. Yeah, I think mine probably like three days max. Probably after I got my boots done or something. Oh yeah. I don't know. Nothing crazy. <laughs> you shower. <laughs> Use deodorant. Yeah. Are you dating anyone from the 4 a.m. crew? I well, am. First of all, I am. Married. <laughs> I'm so not I dating am. anyone. Serious. We will say, if we were to date anyone from the 4 a.m. crew, it would be Trey. Yeah. <laughs> One thousand percent. Y'all know we love Trey. <laughs> Favorite movie or TV series right now? Yellowstone. Because I grew up on a farm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people that did not grow up on farms love that show. I watched that or Eric the Electric. There you go. You too. Um, or see mine. I just subscribed to Hulu solely so that I could watch Bob's Burgers again. I subscribe to Chris Bumstead's YouTube channel. That's all I need. <laughs> he's very attractive. He and looks he's very so engaged. old, though. Yeah, and he's older than him. <laughs> what are your body measurements? I don't make you take this. Uh, my weight this morning was 138.8, baby. It was higher than yesterday. Mm. I was 114.6. I could fucking body slam this chick. And I measure my waist and glutes. But I don't get into that. What are you wearing? What am I wearing? That's one of the questions. Ohio. <laughs> Same thing we've been wearing all day. Fully clothed, baby. Ohio University. First show. First show of 2023. Well, mine's in June. Yours is in June. Clash, baby. She said. Uh, okay, uh, are you talking to anyone? Is the question she got. Hold up the oh, ring yeah, thing. Me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What about you? No. <laughs> Just Brutus. myself. In, in my house alone. <laughs> Brutus likes to cuddle. Yeah, he's a cutie. This is a great question. Is there a certain brand you prefer or recommend for suits? Uh, if y'all didn't know, Kitty's bikinis, custom bikini suits for competition or posing or the beach. Kitty's bikinis. Latest question. Why do you kneel when doing your pre-workout? Scientifically, scientifically, it allows the beta alanine and the caffeine to get into your system so you are ready to <laughs> Max effort. Give our fatty effort in every possible way. 
that is why. If you're not doing that, you're not giving your max effort. You're not taking your pre-workout right, people. Sorry.